Welcome to Mitchy Hot Seat. My name is Shardul, and uh, I've I've been reading a lot of comments that people are like that. We are so happy that you're talking about all things taboo, which I don't understand. I don't understand why things have to be taboo, why conversations have to be taboo, why we can't talk about certain thing. Will it stop existing if you don't talk about it? But today I have a gentleman who um you cannot ignore, and uh, he is a TV host. He's an actor. He's an entrepreneur, and who. Also happens to be gay, or do people still say Paras Tomar? I think you're gay. Do, do people do that on your social media? I think people never did that to me. Uh, in fact, the funny thing is, I never identified as gay. Uh, there was never a box I put myself in, which was very easy because I was always attracted to men and women. But over the years, I was like, wait, you know, like I'm enjoying going down on a woman more. And really, we connect a little because sometimes I I was never gay. My box, if I had to put myself in one, was always bisexual. But as the world is moving around, and the more twenty-year-olds I'm sleeping with, they're educating me in bed. They're like, "Daddy, now the box doesn't exist. Daddy, you don't have to be gay straight. By Daddy, I'm straight." You know, so now the only box I really check is the daddy one. But I've realized that sexuality has become so fluid. Nobody really says that to me. In fact, I am one of those very uh, lucky people where people actually have been very affectionate towards, uh, you know, not just me but also how my dad reacts to my sexuality on social media. But when big, big, big hikis come, then my father is looking at them. Because they are so bad boys, they also sometimes say, oh, "You know, my father's fantasy is that you, dad, you do me, and your dad will see me." Are you serious? So I will show it to my dad, and I'll be like, "Dad, do you want to watch?" He'll be like, "Beta, whatever." So when people I, and your dad is not scandalized, my father gets so much fan mail from boys. They say stuff. Yeah, yeah. They will say you know stuff like, I mean, we, the Tomil boys are not people who like clothes generally. Okay, I should get an award for being this overly dressed. I'm girl, but not pen. Then when videos are posted, my dad me would normally be shirtless. Just a lot of people look good there. Now I'm a smooth chicken boy. My father is like a usually hairy military person, so people I think started fantasizing about that. So there were people who started sending messages like, "I'm threesome, girl, foursome, girl." My dad got messages. Are you serious? You were getting messages to have threesome with your dad? Correct. I'm. I I really would like to have uh, your father as my next guest because I think there will be a lot of content yeah, there. Father is called Papa. Do we will call him? And then when people message him, they say, "Uncle, you are very hot. Ho, you will be on a date with me. You are so sexy." You know what my father's response is? What? God bless you, brother. <laughs> But so, so his dad is becoming more famous with uh, whatever he does in social media. So, Paris, now tell me something. You're the first person probably who's told me that you know I've had no pathos. With my sexuality, because everybody in India who probably is in the eye of entertainment have spoken to, uh, who have come out or who have not come out, uh, there's always a sense of sadness, tragedy, not being accepted. Why do you think uh, that never happened with you? So I almost feel I feel like my first of all I never had a coming out story. I feel like if I had one, it would be so lackluster because it had nothing. It it has no masala. I was dating this uh, beautiful Canadian boy when I used to be a journalist in my last life, and you know, and that was uh, an enterprise which was an amalgamation of two companies, which was international. So I met this boy. I'm Jim Mim there, corporate tha, but a cute tha. He came home one day, whatever. We told me being me, me chhod gaya uske upar, and that relationship started. Now because it started, so whatever normally. I wait, I the process what you just said. I was doing yoga. I was trying to teach the Canadian boy some Indian yoga. Yeah, good promo moment. Yeah, yeah and and I told my dad, I said, you know, I'm I'm dating this boy, and. Um, Uh, that was just it actually, and then uh, Shaman Dabar was a very dear friend of mine at that time. So he like to like be told my father. My father was like okay, and I think he's a military person. So he's also used to sexuality, whatever you know. I think he's very open minded because he's traveled so much. So I think from that perspective of being a military man, his worldview was very open. It was never conservative. He is also you know uh, grown up in hostels. So I would always keep asking dad, saying, "Aapke bhi aise kuch na kuch aise scene mein kuch ho ga whatever." So he'll always just like mucho pe tau mar ke he'll sort of just smile it off. But I'm always like I'm going to take that silence as a yes. And especially the world of entertainment, because you've been a TV host, you've been an actor, you've done a lot of work. Uh, nobody talks about it openly. And uh, you know, you know, there is a certain section of crowd who are probably musicians or probably uh, you know those uh, big corporates who might talk or big artists who might talk about it or they might have a separate life. But in the entertainment industry, nobody openly talks about it. Why? Because I think they're too busy sleeping with people all the time. In any case, I mean, all the male actors we know, anyways, humping everyone. You and I, I mean, at least we all know about the fact that at least I've humped half of Bollywood, right? We just don't talk about it. Like, you know who you are. <laughs> so, right. you know, I think if if we if it was a different show, I probably would have asked. Shah Dul is. I'm going to send you Snapchat. Guys, I'm saying, oh look, look who it is. Yeah, I might need to be on Snapchat for that first. All right, so Paris, uh, did did anyone ever react in a way that you know you were? See, because what I understand from talking to you is that. Uh, you're the probably one percent population of India who's completely okay with being who you are. Uh, you're not seeking for approval or validation from anybody. But you know, in your career of being a TV host, actor, any time has it ever happened to you that you know 
You were flabbergasted with the reaction that you got from someone working with you when you told them about your sexuality. I never had to because again, you know, the thing is when I was... People, I'm not... I'm very shallow as a human being. Like, for me, it's very important that people look nice. And when I say nice, I mean like textbook, post a girl nice or post a boy nice. All right. So for me... Not, noted. <laughs> yeah, so in, in case you'd like to apply in whatever way you want to just slide into my DMs like... Ek to people's definition when people say I'm so cute I look at the photo saying I wouldn't brag if I look like that so this happens to me very often just saying but I'm trying to really preface the fact that I am deeply shallow this never happened to me because when I was at a shoot and we were surrounded by good looking boys and girls when someone was somebody I was attracted to they never had to worry about them hitting on me because I would already have done okay, it okay you would be the first I'd be the one I'm always the, somebody who makes the move and I enjoy it I'm, I'm, for me it's a matter of sort of a wow there's no way to say this without being shallow like for me I, I, it's, it's part of a conquest for me like okay I'm done and I like it I think I get it. <laughs> I think I get it. Yeah, you relate to that, right? But it's, I relate it's like to you it. want to sort of be able to achieve it, right? So I never had that. And people who I wasn't attracted to, I mean, it was, I, I've done this to a lot of guys when they would say, you're hating me, saying, you know, I'm sorry, I'm actually more into women right now. And Well, so that that was your escape. <laughs> that you you would probably switch uh, depending on the person is beautiful or not. Yeah, because it was on Tinder. Tinder had biometric verification. So now it was the first time people write to me, people meet you at a fun. Biometric is the fact that they verify you because saying it is actually you who's in the photo. I think I need to make a debut now. So for someone who's a hookup veteran like I am, I can teach you all these things. Yeah. So hookups and more, we will talk about that. But then Paris, as you said, that you were the first person who would make the first move. Uh, was someone ever uncomfortable or had a hilarious reaction? Or, or you, you could understand why didn't they react the way they reacted? So I know I'm making light of it, but I understand what you're trying to ask me. And I think I'll, I'll get to that because yes, it is very easy. And I don't want to say I'm privileged because I'm not. I'm privileged perhaps for the way I always approached my own life. It was never by the fact that I came from a certain family. But what always worked in my favor for him, you know, we come from this staunch sort of, not, we're not a conservative family, but we're a small town family, my mom's side, my dad's side as well. I was already the face of a major news network when I was 17. I was making lots of money, I was successful, the family, etc. They're very proud of who I am. Now, when you put success in your corner, what happens is everything else you may need to do, you legitimize your choices. If I perhaps wasn't doing well, if I was on the road, if I wasn't looking a certain way, if I wasn't a fit boy, etc, 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 if I was like jobless, then for me to sort of advocate life being this fairy tale, perhaps would not have been that easy. And I think success plays a very big part. Today, the reason people want to hear your story, I have two businesses today, right? So when I talk about the fact that, dude, who you sleep with is great, all these good-looking boys and girls want to come to me. Again, good-looking ones, please DM me. The fact that you can digitize that claim is because you're saying, hey, you know what, my sexuality has nothing to do with it. In fact, I'm the first company in the country to very proudly put love is love on every single one of my products. Yeah. We right? will talk about that. Uh, yeah. That's a big statement, right? Before that became legal in the country, we could not have done it. There was still a legal issue there. Now when, you know, my... I'm actually very proud of that. A lot of the... For people who don't know my type is usually people who are like... Like on the 18th birthday, my, my, my gift to them is happy birthday. Oh, nice. So a lot of them are people who may be sometimes struggling with coming to terms. A lot of the people I've dated, a lot of these guys I've dated, have actually beautifully come out to their parents after being with me and to see how beautiful life is to be able to share it, love it, express it, not have to hold back. In all the years you've known me, you've never seen me in a relationship. Where so, you're, so you're the good luck chuck in every 18-year-old's uh, life. The good luck fuck, yeah. That's true. Okay then. So the Paris has taken this job of educating younger men about how to come out to their parents. But Paris, in terms of work, because you are a person who's always been on camera, and uh, I don't know if Indian representation of the LGBTQ community is still anywhere closely related to what actually it is. You know, we always have those fancy, loud, uh, extremely effeminate men playing those characters. Did you being so open about your personal life in, in the industry ever stop you from getting certain kind of roles by certain kind of people? I've actually only ever played one gay character. Mm. That's before or after you started uh, telling people? I mean, I was never in the closet. I mean, my closet was always open with everything on display. Yeah. I, mean, I was always like naked on social media. I mean, whenever I wanted a date, I would show a nipple and I would get a date. So my my uh, as an actor, it was never that was never a problem. It was never but, a thing. But but would you ever be the choice for being a prime time channel's nine o'clock slot uh, main hero who's supposed to be a misogynist, who's supposed to be rude, who's supposed to uh, disrespect the uh, woman character entire uh, in the entire course of the show? Now, if I may not have done those roles, it's not perhaps because of sexuality. It was probably because of the fact that my Hindi was never great. So. In my head, again, that's a great question, but I don't think I ever attributed sexuality to the lack of ever wanting to do that. I'll be saying, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. 
you know because for a lot of people yes it did happen when i did the first gay role in that was an amazon prime show that was a big show i remember sitting with the director and she had also done a lot of films and i and i do remember saying even my own perception about the shadow has so deeply changed in the last couple of years i remember sitting with her and saying hey i don't want to play this character in an effeminate way yeah and I, and she was from london so she and they're way ahead of the way they perceive sexuality binary non binary if you go to people and say what are your pronouns they bolte ki kaun se pronoun kya bol rahe ho are you binary non binary is it kya mathematics we don't have that concept yeah we don't try to explain to papa i still don't understand when i read it on social media yeah there you go so i you know so so when i told her this she said okay but why not i said the thing is in this country this will be your first major show and it really was at that time where you had this gay character but i wasn't effeminate at all so if you didn't actually reference my antics of humping good looking boys even in the show you wouldn't have considered me a gay or bisexual character because my body language in itself was never about whatever now having said that here was the interesting part because that's what you were asking uske baad mere ko jitne bhi casting director ke phone aate the paris bhai bahut acha show hai bahut acha role hai par wo and there i'm like get to it man wo na thoda sa gay hai i was like thoda sa gay kya hota hai matlab what does that mean He's like, नहीं मतलब वो ऐसे हाव भाव में ऐसे लड़की के जैसा नहीं पर वो थोड़ा सा गे है आई वॉज लाइक अगर इफ यू ऑलरेडी हेजिटेंट अबाउट सींग सो दे आर नॉट एबल टू से ओके दैट्स दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड देन एंड आई रियलाइज वन ऑफ द ब्यूटिफुल आई एम सो प्राउड माई सेल्फ ऑफ मल्टीपल थिंग्स इन माई लाइफ दिस आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ आई एम वन ऑफ दोज पीपल टू टेंस टू नॉमिनेज दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड आई एव रियलाइज दैट फैट एंड वेन आई वस्ट यू नो आई गेस फॉर देम दे मस्ट हैव वाई इज आई हैव दे मस्ट हैव कॉल्ड अदर एक्टर्स एंड सेट गे प्रॉब्लम दी एक्टर्स है तो पागल है मैं गे लगता कर यू नो दे मस्ट हैव हैपन राइट That probably must have happened, right? Where I would normalize it and say, "Guys, I have something to tell you. My co-star is cute. He has a cute face. If he is good looking, then I will do it." So now what they realize is this guy doesn't have a problem with the identity. He, so now you know you have to normalize things at multiple levels. So I never had that problem, but yes, I did get a lot of characters after that, which is clones of each other. But I think that's such a acting thing where they want to just stereotype you, right? That's like Nora Fatay getting item numbers again, again course, because she did one good. And she does such a good job of it. That's that's nice, actually, the way you look at it. Yeah. I was I was doing this threesome while I was seeing this beautiful Pratik Kesayaj part. Oh my God! Like on lonely nights, she's a great person to think about. Poor sir, Prat. All right, <laughs> Pratik Kesayaj, man, if you were to have. So we were doing this threesome scene, and him, me, and this other actor called Tia, and they're all gorgeous. Okay, and we're in bed, and. Like right, right now, it's in the conversation. There's an intimacy director on that. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally wanted to take that job. Even though I was the actor, I was obviously self proclaimed intimacy director. But in that three sums, those Indian we came away, you know, with experience. Sir, we do it. So the directors very kindly have said, "You do it. We have done so much fun with it." Now that was interesting because after and three sums are part of my life. My social media, I've talked about multiple three sums with married couples, gay couples, bisexual couples. I've talked about the fact that I love the fact that when I travel abroad, a lot of my three sums are so liberated because here, pe husband wife ke bich pe tum ghus gaye, tum gurukta, but you know, issue ho jayega. I would just be you go to any resort just stay at the pool and people will just gravitate towards you when you're humping these men women uh you know it also made me understand relationships in a very open way of just saying it doesn't I uh, sorry nobody has ever spoken about all these issues like this I am totally enjoying it if you are well then write to us huh damn if <laughs> So you know, for me, that was also learning where we see, like, even for me, like the idea of me being in love with someone, Shardul, for years. If I loved you, for me to imagine you naked in bed with someone, you know, that feeling where they say you feel that it's making you sick to your stomach. Yeah. If I loved someone in my former life, for me to fathom the idea of them being naked with anyone was just repulsive. Now I've also realized that sex, intimacy, relationships, and love are four entirely different gamuts of your life. Okay. So when I'm sharing. a bed with too many people i am a hepatitis nightmare sometimes and i have to keep getting tested and i do it all right i am definitely going to uh you know give my uh, condolences to the editor of the show yes i've been chopped so much so is the editor cute uh don't know i i've never really seen my editor but uh dm him yeah i like how I, have you met my tinder now i like it the yeah, i can only be someone else's tinder so yeah you was you was so the equity on that is the fact which is really changes the fact that people also you know i i realize the way we look at love romance and relationships in mera bharat mahan is very different i think the more i sort of traveled abroad um uh, i also realized that their ideas of love and relationship is very different where intimacy physical intimacy and emotional intimacy are three different paradigms hum aise nahi dekhte us baat today if i'm dating a guy or a girl and in fact i was about When I was in Dharam Shala last year, I was doing Reiki and meditation and chakra healing. I think all my chakras were too open. I started eating this good, and that happened after a very long time. Okay, that was going beautifully. I was really enjoying that. I was really enjoying the the humping. For me, this might be interesting for a lot of boys who are, you know, trying to figure. In a lifetime, for example, I was always sexually attracted to boys more, 
but my emotional component was always women. Over the last couple of years, it's entirely changed. I really enjoy having sex with women, but my emotional connection now is always with a guy. Okay, right? So, and I don't mean even mean a sexual partner. So, if you and I are friends versus say a female friend of mine, my affection towards you purely because of gender is now more towards the male energy. Right, so I was dating this girl, and she was a beautiful-looking girl. She looked like she walked out of a cover again, shallow. And I saw her the first day. She was literally not joking, sunbathing in the nude in a on a mountain top in Dharamshala, because that's how the vibe of that place is. Okay, it was all going great until this beautiful-looking boy enters the scene. Oh my God, it's so good! And it was all very open. Mere to literally multiwash ke bottles hote the, dono ke kamar mein. They all knew it was very open. And I think those kind of relationships sort of tell you about how you don't have to fit into a box of anything. Gay, straight, bi, single, attached, unattached—a lot of these things I think are complicating our lives because I think the ideal vision for us in the next couple of years will be to be the sole thing of like coming out is out of the closet. A straight man doesn't have to come out of the closet. Yeah, correct. So why do I need to say if I like another penis? You know, like don't don't have to really attribute to it. Well, you just did. You just did. <laughs> All right. Uh, but so now my next question to you is that we we've spoken about such different things from your eye. uh now i want to know that you know being an actor is a part of life uh being a host is a part of life being an entrepreneur is a part of life but uh in india your sexuality becomes you uh because people are referred to as as you just said straight hai gay hai lesbian hai why do you think there's so much of emphasis or importance on the person's sexuality only or the gender identity that they identify with i have to add that problem shard Uh, the one thing I did effortlessly without even trying was the fact that no. But do you have friends who are who have gone through that? Yeah, in fact, I, you know, I didn't become an activist by spearheading a campaign or by being a chess beating activist. I think I became an activist and I did become one by simply normalizing it. Yeah. Right, that was my approach to it. This never happened to me for the simple reason that I thought and and I genuinely believe this and I feel I don't have any I don't have a circle of gay friends. Oh, you don't. You will never see me with a bunch of just seven, eight people who identify as gay queer. It's never been my thing. I have friends who might be gay or bisexual. Yeah, but who actually, happened? Yeah, exactly. But, but what I mean to what I would actually mean to say is, I don't mean to sound the terminology, but I never have been in a group of people who are seven, eight people who are all gay and bi. I've never had that. Yeah. For for me, I personally think it's such a disservice to my multiple amounts of talent, intellect, capacity to be able to only talk about my entire being. Correct. As my sexuality, I am bloody talented. Very immodest, but I don't want to talk about just the fact that my sexuality is what defines me. So a lot of people I meet, and I keep trying to say, hey, "Okay, great," and you know, this is one part of your life. What's the rest? And I feel like that's the one thing which this younger generation of boys, who I love, is doing very well. Who can DM him? We've established that. Who are who are very effectively trying to break out of this mold of saying, you know, you have to understand about ten, twenty years ago, and we know a bunch of designers and makeup artists and whatever, whatever. They had to really fight to find that place. We're very privileged; we don't have to do that. But it's also time to move ahead from that and not carry a baggage of a previous generation. So I feel a lot of people when they try to talk to me about sexuality, most people actually do talk to me about sexuality because I have fifty other things to talk about, which is great because you know uh, I'm, I'm I'm actually this conversation is refreshing because you know all the kind kind of chat shows that we've seen, films we've seen, there's especially in India, there's always this sadness attached to the entire this thing. There's always a coming out story. There's always someone who was you know abused or you know bullied or uh, you know then becomes a criminal or something like that. So now I want to know from you is that according to you, which is the best portrayal of LGBTQ on film, a uh, TV show, anywhere? I don't know about which show it represents. I've never thought about that. Or a film, or a character. Oh, I right. remember watching uh, my first boss had very adequately, of course, like you know when you uh, when you are high. This is when my first job. It's ever my boss knew and everyone knew. I remember he made me watch a show called Queer as Folk, which is like the legendary show, sort of iconic. You want to sleep with. Everyone on that show. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what I liked about that show was the fact that that show itself is a spectrum for how multiple people of multiple gender identities, sexual identities exist. Okay. They were the masculine-looking gay boys. They were the queer-looking gay boys. They were the effeminate-looking gay boys. They're all there together, and I think that representation is great because it also tells you very often when you see an isolated gay character, it that one character becomes a sort of paradigm for the entire thing. When you see a multitude of that, so I think that's a great example of just putting everyone together, saying so just like human beings are different. You know, they're also there. So I think queer is folk is great. If you haven't watched it, it will really be awesome for two things. One for how it normalizes okay. the idea of sex. Secondly, for the amount of positions you can try, because there are these very hot-looking people constantly having sex in these very tantric toward positions. So it was great. So it's a it's it's revolutionary because you watch it for its indulgences, but it 
constantly makes it a point. It's almost like Sex and the City for the gay boys. You know, the funny thing is that, you know, with this conversation, I realize that the, the moment, uh, I think you also said it, the moment we talk about anybody from, according to them, which is not the uh, norm of sexuality, we always associate it with sex. Like there's this perception that uh, lesbians are having a lot of sex, gay guys are having a lot of sex. Uh, are they... I was just going to say that's not a perception. The gay boys are definitely having. So, does that make them promiscuous? Uh, sure. The, a guy will walk into my house and start blowing me in the first act. Will start going down on me in the first like 30 seconds of meeting. Right? All right. Yes. In my experience, yes. There are enough. So, what? You just say hi, get to ring the doorbell, and you start. Yeah, I mean, there are times you don't even know their names. And in fact, I was just telling one of my friends, I met this beautiful boy last week. He was very, very cute, okay? And. Uh, he walked in and whatever walked in and sort of went down on me. And he was like, I wanted to be kinky. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm called daddy and stuff. So very often, like, hey, you know, I want this. Also, what happens when you're meeting in this sexy setting and all, when you ask things like, Pani ye ho. so you're sort of taking this, you know, like, <laughs> ek to, I don't know why people walk into Bombay and take off their shoes and all. I'm like, come on, yeah, just like enter and just, you know, like walk in sexy. So he came in, we started doing stuff, went down on me. He should get an award. He should open an oral spa, that boy. Later, just to taunt me when we were in the bedroom, he says, he sort of flips his that, oh, by the way, my name is. And I was like, I actually never really knew that. A lot of people, ek to mere sath, yeh problem hai on whatever app people I am on, people, I need an OTP other verification. People keep saying, aap to Paris ki photo use karo. Okay, so there are people who think, I'm faking my own profile. Oh, yeah. And then they keep saying stuff like, Paris pe kabhi nahi hota. I'm like, bro, I'm right here. I'm horny. I'm here. Like, you know what? I always feel bad for being there sometimes. So I'll just send a voice note and then suddenly I'll get like a whole bunch of nice photos from them. Okay. And I'm one of those people who's very clear. My my profiles are very clear. I like guys. I like girls. I like to experiment. I'm very clear about the fact that I will only meet people after some sort of a video call. And that's, oh, I've never had a bad experience except for the fact that I remember I was at a hotel in Delhi and I think there was this guy I spoke to. He was some Chinese man. He sent me a very cute picture. It's very nice. So I walked in from my lobby to his lobby. And uh, when I'm walking, there's a guy who sort of says, Pass. And you know, because that's how they say my name, I guess the Chinese. And then there's this very sort of old, frail looking man who looked like some sort of a, he looked like he founded like the Chinese religion. Okay. That old, okay? And I'm looking in, he obviously sent me his photo, but obviously 60 years before. And I just, I looked at him and I was just, I laughed and I walked up. But that was my only bad experience. That was not even the worst, right? Otherwise, because I'm so good with like, you know, I want to see you say, hey, what's up, da da da. In fact, more than me, I realize the other people want to do it because like, hey, hang on, is this really Paris? On Grindr, when people write to me and I don't respond because, you know, if they don't look nice, people start sending me videos of my photo uh, products and say, I'm your customer. I'm like, you bought 700 rupees product, it doesn't mean I'm going to sleep with you now. You know what I mean? That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. It happened. That man has bought your products, sir. I'm like, now you owe it to me. Yeah. So do you, do you, do you, uh, give, give your customers uh, sometimes satisfaction? That kind of satisfaction. satisfaction. I've had a lot of my hookups who've turned to customers because very often and I'm not making this. Are you serious? Are you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I think that's a great businessman. He's hooking up with people and saying, please, aap meri cream kari bije. Does that go like that? Kind of. <laughs> because once they're done, I'm like, hey, this is really good. So at home, I'm very like happy. I'm like, I'll give people stuff. And they're like, no, no, I don't want to take it. They also say, we'll They're like, okay, let me make a promo code for you. Right there, right? So if I've generated a promo code, at the moment I've exited in the cab, it's like I can see Charizard shopping. Kamis. So, correct me if I'm wrong, taking off shoes is uh, ridiculous, but giving them OTPs is, a, a promo code is just, you know, that's the natural dating now, that's kind of how it is. But again, to go back to what you were saying, where people's perception is, do gay men have more sex? In my opinion, yes. As someone, if I if I think about my own spectrum, and I'm not saying this because I'm more attracted to men, but yes, the, the speed at which you are likely to sort of consummate a relationship with a guy is definitely lightning compared to snail space with women sometimes. When you're traveling though, it's very different. I find that older women are somewhat, at least in my opinion, of course, everything I'm saying is only from my opinion, my perspective, in my life, are perhaps faster. Okay. Because I feel like we're unfortunately still living in an age where there's two spectrums. One, the gay boys have their own sexuality. I also feel sometimes women are trying to not come across as too easy, not too easy. And I'm like, bro, we're already here. Take off your clothes and let's do this, right? So yes, I feel like gay men do have quicker sex, if not more. Okay. Yeah, 100%. I would want you to tell three things to a boy living in a really small town for who, who who is of the community and who wants to, you know, lead as simple and easy a life as you have led. What are those three things you would like to tell him? You know, I'm going to say this. Uh, I, it's very easy. We live in a big city where people who do well. We are all celebrities. It's very easy to say to parents, ko bolna ki, you know, whatever. Safety first. I know a lot of towns have horrible history of violence, killing people. Yeah. I want you to always make sure. First, you test your family. Hamare jaise log jo videos banate, show them a video of a Paris. Show them a video of somebody went. See what your family reacts. If it's a violent reaction, 
it's very easy for us to sit in a studio and say the world is great. It's not sometimes. If you feel it's not safe, first check your safety. See how your people will sort of deal with that. All right. So if you realize that your family is cool, they're not going to kill you. Yeah. Move to step two. This is where I educate all my boys. I'm hooking up with. I'm also learning a parallel university when I'm humping people. Right. The second thing, of course, is the fact that I think the mistake a lot of people make is if I fall in love with your shirt and I want to come out to my dad, instead of just saying, "Hey, I am into boys," my first instinct would be like, "He my boyfriend." Hai. Parents, what will they do? Parents' first impact intuition would be like, "Isne hamare ladke ko bikaar hai," right? No, oh, yeah, yeah, the the right, the classic. He's, he's the culprit. Yeah. My advice is, your coming out story has to be. Aapki coming out story, aapki khud ki kahani hai. It's not about the fact that I'm swinging because of this person. All right, that's a very very important thing. It sounds silly, but it's very true because nobody should have a scapegoat to blame for you. And the third thing, which I think is quintessential, which I think has been great for me, is. I think siblings play a very large part in being a support system. So if your friends, family are there, start conversations, talk about it. I am somebody who's always I could be in the most corporate setting. I talk about my testicles hurting or something or whatever. Basically, I've realized if you have the ability to talk about everything without it sounding vulgar, it's great. Start a conversation with your dad, ke saad, mom, ke saad. अगर आपको गे बोलने में डर लग रहा है ना आपको पता ही नहीं चलेगा आपकी फैमिली का रिएक्शन कैसा है. So I think the first thing is आप अपने घर में कोई सीन चल रहे हैं वो स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग दीज थिंग्स तो सोशल मीडिया इतना लिटरली हमारे जैसे लोगों के वीडियोस खोल के देखो यू नो सी व्हाट योर रिएक्शन इज आई थिंक व्हेन यू स्टार्ट अ डायलॉग इज अ ग्रेट वे टू टेस्ट व्हाट बट अगेन सेफ्टी फर्स्ट आई डोंट वांट यू टू बी हैंगिंग फ्रॉम अ ट्री बिकॉज़ पैरा सेड दिस समवेयर एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी रियलिस्टिक बिकॉज़ वी आर स्टिल लिविंग इन अ टाइम एंड दिस इज नॉट जस्ट इन इन आवर कंट्री यू नो ओनली अ लॉट ऑफ द यूरोपियंस बॉयज आई स्लीप विद या व्हाट इज अ परसेप्शन The Europe is open. They have it easy. They don't. This beautiful Polish boy that I was dating. Oh my God! I would see him, and I think I would just have like a, a boner like the whole time. And he was just around me. We would do nothing, right? But he would tell me, for him, it's liberating to be in India because back home it's not okay. And a lot of European men have this problem. We only think of Greece and Italy, but that's not true. Okay, that that's that's actually a, an eye opener for me as. Well. In fact, we are one. I feel so proud about this country. We're one of those very handful of countries, about seven, eight, who actually. Identify and recognize the third gender. There are literally about seven, eight countries where have the box of male, female, and other. So you know you're living in a country where it's actually not so difficult. Think about Russia. All these Russian boys are so beautiful. Oh my God! Why are they all going to Thailand? Apne country with bichare, they'll be uh, uh, assassinated. Yeah, you know, you know because even though now it's legal to be a uh, gay or lesbian in our country, it's still socially acceptable. There are still no marriage laws. There are still no. Uh, nothing But like you know, that. You know, a civil case. union will sort of come there. I personally think it's great. We don't have it. Shaadi okay. aise bhi barbaad ho rahi hai. You don't have to have like gay boys also getting married. It's great. I think. Like, Otherwise, how would you run your institution where you're educating a lot of people? Of course. I All right. For 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 one reason that we are not very okay with people saying what they feel and people being extremely honest, which is exactly what the show is about. Thank you, Paris, for coming to Mitchy Hot Seat. Uh, definitely, the seat was hotter today. Nah, I'm sure you'll only watch one percent of what was really safe because you'll get irritated. Namaste. DM me.